Okay, so today we're gonna install Google Local fast, guys. Okay, we're not gonna take too long, so I'm not gonna explain all the stuff that I'm doing 100%. I'm just gonna tell you basically how to do it and how to do it fast and efficiently. So, first things first, in the Creative Companion, you want to make sure that you have Avatar 3.0 Manager. You click on the plus sign here on the right to add it to your project. And also, Gesture Manager. We're gonna use that to test it out after we've installed, okay? After you've installed that, you want to go into the Google Loco folder that you downloaded. You want to import Google Loco, click import here. After you've imported Google Loco, you should have a Google folder here in your assets section in the project tab. So click on Google, then you click on Google Loco. After that, you go to controller right default. If you have right defaults, to find what you have, you want to click on the FX layer. So click on the avatar, click on the inspector, then find the FX layer here. Double click on that to bring it up. Click on any of the hand parts up here at the top or any sort of toggle. And then here you will see right defaults. I have it checked, so I have right defaults turned on. What you want to do then is you want to go into the folder again because we went out of it. So go to right defaults then since we have right default. You want to click on avatar. You want to click on additive, base, and action. Those are the first ones. So then we drag action layer to action. Drag additive to additive and base to base. The last one we want to add is sitting. Then we have Google logo sitting right default here. Put that there. And now we don't have to add anything more right there. The next step is we want to go into Avatar 3.0 Manager. Click on your labs here and click on that. Click here to find the avatar. I'm working on this avatar right now. I'm making it so I have a lot of different versions. You should only have one though, depending on like how it's set up. Then you click on these three pillars here. These are all of the parameters. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here. We're going to write go. And then we find go all parameter here. We click on that one. And that's going to add all the Google local parameters we need for Google local to function properly. We click copy parameters. That's going to copy all parameters into the current parameter uh, layer for this avatar. Now that we have that in there, we're going to go into the menu. We're going to click at the bottom here, add control, and click go, go, goosey mode is what I always call it. You can get, call it go, go, local, you can call it whatever you want. Click sub menu, click plus there, write go, go. Oh, oh no, it's go all, sorry. Go all. Then go all main menu, click on that one. And now you're done. It's done. You've added go, go, local to your avatar. We're going to click play here and have just humanity in the upper left corner here selected. Just to test it out. Don't mind that she's bald, by the way. That's just because I'm hiding stuff on her. Then we click here. Go, go, goosey mode. Go, go, loco. And bam. It's working. All of the stuff should be working as well. All of the poses. Yeah, everything's working. And that took maybe two minutes. Two, three minutes to add. You can also add it through VRC Fury. I'm not going to do that in this video. I might make a video for anyone who wants to know, but it's really easy. Yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Dos Mios Martos. This avatar is going to be out on sale soon, so you can buy it if you want it, if you like it. Uh, so you guys have a good one.